At Orthodontic Experts, we make it a priority to answer your questions so that you can feel confident in understanding the treatment process. As requested, in this video, we will dive deeper into braces wires. If there is a topic you would like to learn more about, please leave us a comment below. Braces consist of several components, including brackets, bands, and arch wires. Arch wires, which are the focus of today's discussion, are the framework that connects the brackets, applying gentle pressure to guide your teeth into their correct positions. Before we talk about wire sizes, let's compare the two common types of wires used in orthodontics. First, let's start by introducing tie wires. Nitai, short for nickel titanium, is a type of wire commonly used in orthodontics due to its unique properties. One of the most remarkable features of Nitai wires is their shape memory characteristic. This means that they have the ability to return to their original shape even after undergoing significant deformation. This property enables them to exert gentle and continuous forces on teeth, resulting in more controlled tooth movement. Moreover, Nitai wires are highly flexible, allowing for easy placement within the orthodontic brackets and reducing patient discomfort. This flexibility also makes them suitable for early stage treatment when more significant tooth movement is required. In addition, Nitai wires have a low coefficient of friction, meaning they generate less resistance as your orthodontic assistant positions them through your brackets. This lower frictional force minimizes the potential for discomfort, making Nitai wires an excellent choice for orthodontic treatment. Now, let's shift our focus to stainless steel wires, another widely used option in orthodontics. Unlike Nitai wires, Stainless steel wires do not possess a shape memory characteristic. However, they do offer their own advantages that make them a preferred choice for specific applications. Stainless steel wires have excellent stiffness and resistance to deformation, allowing for greater control over tooth movements. This property makes them ideal for more complex cases or when precision control is required. Furthermore, Stainless steel wires can prevent unwanted tooth rotations and provide additional support during treatment. Which type is better? When comparing Nitai and stainless steel wires, we can see that both offer valuable advantages that are beneficial for orthodontic treatment. Nitai wires provide gentle and continuous forces, reducing discomfort, while stainless steel wires offer improved control. By combining the strengths of these wire types, orthodontists can customize treatment plans to maximize efficiency and provide patients with a beautiful, healthy smile. It's important to note that the choice between Nitai and stainless steel wires depend on the patient's specific needs, treatment stage, and the orthodontist's professional judgment. Wire size. Not only do arch wires come in various materials, but they also come in assorted sizes. The selection of braces wire sizes is determined by your orthodontist, who considers factors such as your dental malocclusion, tooth movement required, and the stage of your treatment. Thinner wires, such as the ones typically used at the beginning of treatment, allow for initial movement and adjustments while offering increased flexibility. As your teeth progress towards alignment, thicker wires with more rigidity are usually introduced to exert stronger forces and guide your teeth into their desired positions effectively. Braces wire sizes are categorized numerically, and each size represents a specific diameter or thickness of the wire. The most common sizes range from 0.014 inches to 0.025 inches, with variations available in between. Smaller sizes, like 0.014 inches, are often used to initiate treatment and for fine adjustments. On the other hand, larger sizes, like 0.025 inches, are utilized in later stages when more force is needed to shift teeth with greater resistance. During your adjustment appointment, your orthodontist will determine what wire size is best for your current stage of treatment. 
In some cases, your wire will not be changed at your adjustment appointment. In fact, it's not unusual for your wire to remain the same. This is nothing to worry about and won't necessarily affect your treatment plan. If enough movement has been made, they may increase your wire size. If not, they may keep the same wire size. In rare cases, they may decrease wire size to reduce the pressure and relieve discomfort. It's essential to acknowledge that adjusting to new braces wire sizes can cause temporary discomfort, especially after each adjustment. However, rest assured that any discomfort is temporary and typically subsides within a few days. Over-the-counter pain relievers can be used under your orthodontist's guidance to manage the initial discomfort. To learn about how to combat braces discomfort, check out this video. To learn more about wire adjustments, check out this video. If you still have questions or would like to schedule a free consultation, please visit our website at orthodonticexperts.com.